start with the side pocket base color and begin to put tick marks on the hen's head. Just continuing on the tick marks. These markings, since the head is twisted and pulled back, we have to keep that in mind and these markings are gonna kind of follow that course down to the base of the neck in this direction as opposed to twisting around back here. Because as we look at the back of the head, these marks are going to twist around this way. So these need to bend back to, in that direction. Just a quick look at that. Made the marking smaller as I go under the chin and neck area. Working on these to go up and over the crown. So I'm pulling these marks around the back of the head, but we have to remember the back of the head and neck twist around here. So that's kind of a, an imaginary center line. I'll start on the markings on this side of the head, kind of same routine as we approach the neck, though these are going to pull around the corner here. And we'll leave some of this neck light in front. Some more progress. So a quick shot at the back of the head as these tick marks kind of join up in the back and follow the neck around. Continuing around the, this side of the neck. Now that that first pass is done, I'm going to use a little bit of the original side pocket color. And I've got a little chisel scrubber. I'm just going to begin to pull some color into this eye stripe. Then I'm going with burned umber to darken it a bit and blend that out. Now I'm using a little carbon black mixed with burnt umber and I want to go back into the crown and darken these dark marks. And I'll darken all of those marks up and over the top of the head and kind of to the back of the neck. I'm using that side pocket base color again and Starting down here in the corner, I want to put a little dark color down in this area and blend that out as you go outward on the cheek. Now I've got a little of the base color of the uh, head on a filbert brush, kind of a watered down wash and I'm using that to lighten a few things and just put some variation in these markings and soften the markings somewhat. Now I've got a little wash of gold oxide with raw sienna. I'm going to put that over everything else to kind of warm things up a bit. Take a little mixture of off-white and the original face color. Put a little bit of a 
eyelid below and then a little bit of a lighter marking above just to accent the eye. Now I'm going in with the detail brush and with a slightly lightened value of the original base head color. I added some gesso to lighten it a bit. I'm going in between the dark tick marks and adding some light tick marks. Then I've got a little uh, the original face color with some raw sienna added in just to lighten it. And I'm going to use that as kind of a final touch to go between these darker tick marks on the head. These lighter tick marks tend to add depth and structure to the paint. So it looks more three-dimensional than just the flat. So a quick look at the status of the head. And now we're ready to go on to the bill.